Okay, enzymes and temperature. <clears throat> so our enzyme, which is um, a type of protein, so we can always link this to protein synthesis, all the stuff on mRNA, and making proteins in the cytoplasm and the right, all that kind of stuff. Bear in mind, this is where it links. Here's a protein, I'm going to exaggerate its shape. Here's our enzyme, I should say. There's an active site. Common question to be asked about uh, in terms of temperature of um, what happens to the enzymes. So there's two different things depending on if you're looking at a low temperature or a higher temperature. Do, by the way, use the word temperature. Don't use the word heat. It's not a very useful word in this, this sense. Talk about temperature increasing or decreasing. Don't talk about heat. The active site has got... Let's try and draw something. This is our substrate molecule. Remember, the substrate has got a complementary... Or the active site, sorry, it's got a complementary shape to the substrate. That means it fits into it. In order for these two things to react, perhaps if I um, use a few counters again, so it's nice to use the counters. Let's have the red as the substrate and the blue as an enzyme. In order for these things to react, they actually have to come into contact with each other. They had to collide. As you increase the temperature, the substrate and the enzymes will have more kinetic energy. Okay, Remember, kinetic energy means movement. If it's very cold, they'll be moving slowly. If they have sufficient kinetic energy, they will move more, and you will simply get more collisions because they'll be moving around faster. Okay, So, raising the temperature gives you more kinetic energy, which means more collisions. They have to collide substrate and enzyme in order for the reaction to happen. You might think, well, what happens if what if that substrate doesn't hit the active site and it hits another part? Well, the answer is it bounces off and, and you don't get a reaction. Um, but of course, what you're looking at in a real reaction is billions and trillions of enzymes and billions and trillions of these substrate molecules. So, although they don't always hit together, overall, enough of them will be hitting. The more kinetic energy that you have, the more likely these collisions are. And, and this actually holds true all the way. It, the, we can keep re, uh, increasing the temperature and we will get more and more and more collisions. It doesn't matter even if we're doing it 100 degrees, there will be more collisions. But we have the problem at higher temperatures where the enzyme is denatured. And what denatured means is a change in the shape of the active site. If the active site changes shape, the substrate no longer fits. The active site. And if you want to be extra portion, I've seen this on the, the mark schemes, you can talk about something called the enzyme substrate complex does not form. What's that mean? Well, an enzyme substrate complex is when, let's just go back to my enzyme again for a second, when the substrate is actually fitting in to that active site, the two things are considered to be together. It actually forms um, weak bonds, if you like. Um, so that's an enzyme substrate complex. In fact, what would then happen, again, there's been a question on this before, when it's asked you to draw them, the substrate in this case would then break apart. So notice. Here I've got a little bond, here it's gone. What the enzyme's doing, if you like, is it's twisting that substrate a little bit, snapping the bond, think of it like that. And then these new products that have been made no longer fit the active site, and off they go. They're released, and the active site is back and ready for uh, the next substrate. So two things going on, at low temperatures, you don't have enough kinetic energy, so there aren't many collisions. So raising it will give you more collisions, and that holds true all the way. At very high temperatures or above the optimal temperature, it becomes denatured, the substrate doesn't fit the active site. And finally, just to, to put the graph on this, so what you, you commonly see is something like this, rate of reaction. If you're not sure on rates, you might want to watch a little rate video. Um, and temperature 
at low temperatures you don't get many reactions because there's not many collisions as you increase the temperature you get more and more collisions we reach an optimal temperature notice optimal not optimum which is when the enzyme is working at its fastest speed it then drops off as the enzyme becomes more uh, denatured as the active site changes its shape okay so remember to include this idea of kinetic energy in the cold there are less collisions at higher temperatures even though there's more collisions it doesn't matter because the active site has become denatured its shape has changed and the substrate no longer fits.